What's up, everybody? This is Kristen, your producer for PBTP, powered by the players, a proud member of the Roll to Play Network. I'm popping in here before the show to share a promo for a wonderful podcast. What am I rolling? What Am I Rolling is a twice-monthly actual play podcast that is GM'd, hosted, and produced by Fiona, who plays Neve in our Masks campaign. Hey, listen. Do you want to find out more about tabletop and live role-playing games, but not too sure where to start? Do you want to play a lot of different role-playing systems, but don't have time to try them all? Do you want to listen to new and exciting adventures, but without the long, boring character creation episodes or filler story arcs? Well... You're in luck. Check out What Am I Rolling, a twice-monthly RPG one-shot podcast. Available on the website, that's www.wairpodcast.com, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, adventures need not apply. With all that out of the way, let's get to the episode. Everybody. Welcome to PBTP, Powered by the Players. Powered by the Players is an actual play podcast featuring mini campaigns of all your favorite PBTA games. Each campaign will be a different Powered by the Apocalypse game with a rotating cast of diverse players. Let's power up. And as, as y'all are, you know, as, as the doors are opening and you're trying to face look at these robots that are starting to scream towards you, uh, we'll cut to the next group. Are y'all still in the trees? Okay, Amir, you have consent but to move me and the Whisper to the roof. <laughs> and we're back on the roof. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank Again, you, Amir. Amir, warning. Warning. I mean, technically, that was a countdown. <laughs> fair. Fair. Okay. I, th- I thought we were trying to end this quickly. <sighs> Still. A little bit of warning would be nice. Okay, how do we want to do this? Um, did you... Did you uh, so you heard, you heard voices and stuff, right? So if you yep. can listen out, maybe we can... Once we get through the window, maybe you can sort of pinpoint where they are. And we'll, we'll, keep, um, we'll have your back. Okay. And uh, we can use the fry oil. The, the, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to listen again. Okay. okay. I guess I should assess the situation. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's roll. <laughs> let's roll some dice. <laughs> dice. In this oh, no. game that dice. That's a six and a three. I got a nine. Is that pleasure superior? Hold up. Nope. Let me find my superior. Mm-hmm. Right, my superior is zero. So that's so a nine. nine. So it's so a nine. You get a question. One question. Mm-hmm. What here is the greatest danger? What here is the greatest danger? Um, are you? How are you trying to assess the situation right now? Are you like listening and like using your listening skills? Yes. Okay. Using your yeah. listening skills, using your listening power. My my listening, my, those are listening skills. <laughs> I mean, not everybody has supersonic uh, hearing, so. True. All right. So, yeah, you, you're, like, listening again, just trying to hear things out. And um, you hear the, the whirling of machines and then, like, the start, AOL start up again. And you push past that. And you hear the man's voice coming through. And as he, this is like right after the car alarm started going off. Mm -hmm. And um, he's like, what is that? We need to stop whatever's going on out there. You five, have fun. And you hear some, some like clickety clacks on like some keyboards. And you hear just a, I'm a voice actor, (laughs) y'all. I'm immersed. <laughs> I think technically that's a, a folio work, so oh, oh, very different skill, but it's equally important. Your range is amazing, darling. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Michael Winslow. 
So, you know, <laughs> that's what he does all day. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, you start hearing like just these machines starting to walk and move. And it sounds like they're getting, they're going further away from you. And you hear the do- front, the um, metallic front door sort of open up. Mm-hmm. And when you lock, saw the front door, it's actually like these like big double doors that sort of just like swing widely out. Mm-hmm. So that's what's happening. You hear that and you hear him say, I don't know if that's all of them or not. So be on the, be on the lookout. And you hear more clicky clacks for other things. And you hear, um, Aoife, Vision, be like, I don't know what's going on, but this is just messing up all our plans, so let's just get this over with. I'm sorry, I made her a valley girl. Sorry, not sorry. Any? <laughs> oh, I imagined her, so. <laughs> okay, good, perfect. Nailed it. All right, so, um. Yeah, you just hear you just hear him. You hear him mainly. That's the main distinct okay. hearing that you. That's what your focus is. So to answer your question, it him. All right. He's activated some sort of machine, uh, and it sounds like he hasn't activated all of them. We've got to stop him before he activates more. All right, let's go then. I'm gonna climb through the window as elegantly as I can. Uh, and Jamie's going to follow. And Amir shimmers a little, like as if they had teleported in and out like very quickly. And you notice the thing that changes between the first shimmer and by the time they shimmer back is there's these like family size bottles of one is ketchup and one is mustard and like squeeze bottles. And they're like, we're ready. <laughs> All right, so y'all climb in, and you come into, like, a catwalk landing through that window itself. Um, it's pretty quiet up on this uh, second floor itself. You look around, and just nothing but, like, loose tubes and wires and things like that in this area. I will um, walk as quietly as I can to where I, I can hear, because we can hear, like, robots moving about and stuff but is there um <clears throat> is there um is there a map or any sort of signpost saying this way to the head of the robotics lab's office or anything like that nearby if, if there is any sort of indication i will sort of go towards that area there, just, there is not but a it's a pretty it's an open warehouse it's um okay basically one big old room oh okay yeah um, like, probably like a bathroom that's another room that's about it Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so if it's sort of an open warehouse type thing, um, um, also I, I kind of want to see if can I spot um, ether at all. So as you're walking around and like looking down through the grates and stuff, you um, you start you start hearing uh, past the rolling machines. You actually start you see you eventually see Aoife standing there with. Uh, this gentleman who's got a robotic arm and what do we say? Like a nice, like generic evil guy pointed beard or something, right? <laughs> Goatee. <laughs> Goatee. That's right. Mm-hmm. So you see them talking and um, discussing plans and he has like a, like a, a tablet out that's sort of like going through the information with her. Okay. Hmm. How far away are they, would you say? Oh, um, they're about 20 feet down. Yeah, we're about off. like mm, over there. <laughs> I don't know, like <laughs> range is hard. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're above them essentially. Yeah. Okay. You're like above you're like at an angle. So like they're not like directly underneath you, they're a little down to the side. Okay. Should I bring her to you? Um, no, but maybe you can cause some sort of um, disturbance that splits them up a bit. I think we need that tablet from that guy, though, and I point to it, indicating to, to both the whisper and the mixed direction. Tablet. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
okay. <laughs> I f- I feel like before I go do something incredibly stupid, maybe Jamie wants to do something first. <laughs> Uh, so wait, Amir starts to do it, and then you look to the to, to, uh, the whisper, and you're like, <laughs> <All right. laughs> or do I like just out of out of a character for a second? Um, are y'all okay with me being that impulsive, or is it sort of taking away from things you want to do? Because I don't want to do that. Oh no, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're just good. Just check. <laughs> just check. Out of all three of us, you have long range abilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> then what I do as soon as I hear is like, tablet, got it, is go down and try to teleport, grab the tablet and teleport back with the tablet. All right. Um. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um. Technically, you're directly engaging with a threat. Even though you're not fighting it, you're still engaging mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. So, give me some dice rolls, please. Alrighty. So, I think that would be roll danger. Yep. Uh, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, why am I only rolling one die? Well, that's just great. Snake eyes. Oh, oh no. Oh. What's your danger? Uh, zero. Oh. Well, mark potential. Mm-hmm. And um, so you you move in and you 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 actually teleport right in front of them. And but as soon as you reach out to grab the tablet, almost like lightning reflexes, the metallic hand of the man just sort of wraps around your wrist. And you try to teleport away, and you just you you can't. It's, and you see that as you're teleporting away, there's a slight shimmer to his his hand, his metallic hand, like a nice. What you said, you're like like a rainbow effect, like like your jacket. Yeah. 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 And he looks at you, Lexa Ifa, looks back at you, and as you speak in the evening, he's like. Well, I think I know where we have our issues. Hello. Hi. And you, you catch up. <laughs> and <that's laughs> squirt. <laughs> you squirt in his face. Yep. Yeah. So the catch up actually hits him like, like hits him across, like hits the forehead and like goes down to the face and just sort of like travels down. And he, his emotion doesn't change. His demeanor doesn't change. He's like, that's cute. Handle them. <laughs> and you see Aoife, like, oh, okay. And she snaps a finger. Because she, she she controls electronics, right, as well? Like, yeah. Mm. You just see these, like, 2B wire thingies just starting to come down and shoot at you to, like, wrap around you. Uh, give me a... Uh, 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 defend, I guess? Yeah, defend. Is that what... Is yeah, that what, or yeah, does it take a powerful blow? I would say defend when you okay. defend someone. So you're defending yourself because he, he lets you go at this. He's uh, still holding on and he's waiting for those cords to wrap around you. So like as soon as like a cord touches you, he lets you go. And this is where you can defend yourself. Okay. So that is with Savior. Wonderful. So that's out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. This is what I rolled. Oof. Oh, I didn't see. Hold on. Um, snake eyes oh, again. Snake eyes again? <laughs> With a minus one, so one. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get your dice. <laughs> or no, you're mark. getting it out of the way now. One of the oh, two. Mark potential. Yeah. Mark potential quickly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, mark yep. potential. <laughs> and um, you, yeah, so as you're, as, as I, those wires start coming to wrap around you, um, and, and he lets you go, and you you feel like you're about to like tr- you're like all right cool, he let me go. I'm gonna disappear now. But as soon as that cord hits you and you're just trying to do it, you see the same rainbow effect go up it as 
it went up his at his arm, and you just start seeing these cords just wrap around you. And, and as I clench, the mustard releases. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually hits Aoife right across yep. the, right across her dress, and she's like, White Are you dress. kidding me? Ugh! <laughs> And that's at that point, she's just like wrapping it up even more. So now you're like cocooned and then hung upside down with these wires. And she's and like, we- all right, like, do you have any friends with you? Because this is getting old. In my head, I'm thinking this is what the fury feels like. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, hello, are you listening to me? Um, friends, do you have any here? Uh, Not they- right now, unless you're my friend. Hello, friend. And then at that point, she just like does like a brings her finger around, and another cord just comes over and just like into your mouth as like a, like so we're like just cutting you off like a a gag, and so we're just like, all right, we're done here. <laughs> and um, y'all see uh, the whisper and the watcher see this from up top, and I think. I think once they've, like, started to, like, cocoon Amir, I've jumped down. Yeah. And I'm going to directly engage the All right, who are you directly? Man. Old, old man? Okay. Old man. I'm, okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to just go punch him because he's. Are you, not, are you jumping down and, like, trying to throw a punch as you're jumping down? Like, like, yeah, like, I'm I'm trying to jump on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can just see the cinematic where he's, like, because I, I have he impossible up, he's, like, ah. mo- I have impossible mobility, so, like, I could do this in theory gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> in theory. So let's in see theory. What, what we get. So I guess I'm directly engaging a threat. Uh-huh. So that's plus danger. Yeah. That's a seven. Well, at least you you pick one of those. Okay. Uh, okay. Mr. Avoid their blows. I get to take something from them. I take their tablet. Yeah, uh, I think as you punch punch him, because you just catch him completely off guard. Yeah. And you land on him. The tablet actually goes flying out of his hands. Yeah. And like you just hear the 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 electronics on concrete sort of just like scatter noise mm-hmm. as it just moves about like. 10 feet from, from hand reachy area. Yeah. And you he's just de-tableted. Him, and you, he's got a bloody nose now and he's not happy. Yeah. And he's like, who are you? Excuse you. And he's just going to like, be like, oh. And he's, you see him sort of reach for it. He's like, vision, some help. And she's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> and you see her like sort of like, her hand come up and like have like with more wires sort of just come around and go towards you. Okay, and, um, we're, I, guess, we're gonna, I guess I'm going to defend myself. They're coming at you, but as, as they're coming at you, we're going to switch. Okay. Real quick. And we're going to go to the watcher. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So I was like, switch to something else. Great. <laughs> so I'm seeing all this. I see the whisper out of my, oh man, she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, wait, 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 wait. And is there like, if it's like an open warehouse, is there like those There's sort of ladders very... and stairs that go down? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna walk down. Sorry. <laughs> You're like, I got it. How's it going? I know I'm not a great superhero, but I, I, I <laughs> jumped down too. I was more saying if there was like um, shelving, you know, that can like I, if I jump on it, can I sort of push it and then sort of like I, I'm trying to see if there's any shelving that I can push onto ether. I would say it's not a small shelving. It's very yeah. 10 feet tall, probably like 10, 15 tall. So like you can usually hop on them. Yeah. Like you can get down from the, the, where you, where you're at right now. Pretty, pretty okay without being injured too much. Okay. Um, but they're the thick steel metal ones. Okay. Okay. Like fine, fine. if you get crushed. Yeah. No, no coming back from that. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, do that. <laughs> it, you might, but it probably won't be a great life. Well, that's that's me told. Okay, um, I will, ju- I will, I'll, I'll hop onto that one, and I'll be like, um, and I'll I'll see Efa, and like Efa, what the, what are you doing? <laughs> Mum will be really cross, and then I'll jump on her as well. 
I'm just like <laughs> trying to grapple her. This, give give me directly cool. engage a threat. <laughs> I'm not cool. I'm just like, um, so that's plus danger. That's, that's my danger. Oh, that's also plus one. So, uh, six. That is an 11. Oh, yeah, shit. Hey. hey. Yeah. All right. So you get to choose uh, two of those things. Okay. So I want to surprise Ether. Uh-huh. Right, sort of going on, but then the second thing I'd like to do is create an opportunity for my allies. So I'm hoping that Amir is able to slip three of the uh, the wires in some way because it sort of pushes pushes them out of it in some way. Yeah. So yeah, you you you're able to hop down from the top of this this. I, I'm just seeing like you like body no not body stand but more like sort of like <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not physical, so you're just like no. jumping down. <laughs> And like you, yeah, you. It's it's a it's not a pretty landing, but you do sort of catch her off guard. You knock her down. She's like, "Neve, what?" The? And just like, yeah, you just straight down. Um, and with her concentration broken, uh, the wires going to the 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 whisper sort of just drop. And the wire oh, no, I, I meant a mirror, but oh, mirror, yeah. but the the uh, the wires wrapped around the mirror also just go limp. And Amir sort of just falls head first to to the ground. You're only like you're only like five you're like five feet up, so you weren't like too far down, too far away. Ow. But 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 as that happens, uh we are going to switch back to outside. I know Vignette's gonna attack one with her sword, but Maggie, if you want to do something first, please. No, go for it. Okay. I did the I destroyed a car, so So you're good this session. Yeah. That's all that's all you needed to do. <laughs> I was like, I'm done, I'll see y'all later. I'm just gonna take a <laughs> nap. Good. <laughs> okay. So oh, I, I hold on. on. I just realized we started with me wrecking a car. And now <laughs> <laughs> it's full circle. Oh yeah, it's full circle. Yeah, so it's one of my abilities, but it's not like an outsider move. Okay. What is it? So, uh, just my um, weapon, my alien weapon. Oh, well, I think it's just mainly you just use that as um, directly engaging. Okay. Since it's just, it doesn't give you stats, it just says, yeah. you got an alien weapon. So, you could use that as, um, does it give you any bonuses or anything? Or? Nope. Okay. Then, yeah, you just put so a straight roll. Straight roll, and then whatever you add for danger. My danger... Is a minus one, but I rolled an eleven, so ten. Okay, yeah, you you pick two. Okay. Is avo- avoid their their attack or their blows the first one? Yeah. So I'd like to do that and then make an opportunity for my ally. All right. So yeah, you, my ally, um, ally. <laughs> so, um, are you attacking the first one? Or are you going like through them, like and like trying to get to a middle one, or? Uh, I think out like a mighty duck formation where it's just the V. <laughs> the mighty ducks. Crack, crack. I think Vignette jumps over the first one to one of the second ones okay. in hopes of distracting the first one. And maybe that's the opportunity created for Allie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if that one swings at her, then she dodges it and uh, hits it with her sword in the arm, stomach, any, yeah. any of this area. So yeah, you're able to like jump up, swing. You sort of like psychic out where you're like, I'm going to go this way, so I can go this way. And so that's where it gets distracted because it's trying to swing at you. And you just sort of like avoid like gracefully around. And then um, you said you're attacking the first one or one of the second ones? The second one. The second one on the right, let's say. The green one. Let's go with the green one. The green one. one. Yeah. So yeah, you, you, you come down and you swing and you're just able to get your sword pretty much like through the shoulder or chest area, mm-hmm. like halfway through there and before it just stops. And um, it just sort of just like turns its head to look at you. And uh, hmm. yeah, you, that's, and then the, the first one sort of just like turning around, but it's, you know, the bottom part is still going forward, mm-hmm. but the, just the torso just sort of turns. Turns to look at me. Yeah. Cool. Does the one that look at, does the green one, uh, when it, turns to look at me does it have any uh expression or any emotion that i can read no nah, it's like i said it's like okay. one of those rock and soft and robots where it's like yeah the the eyes are just glowing and you just see when it looks at you the eyes just glow like a brighter red 
Cool. So I stabbed the green one. All right, Allie. So um, what Allie's going to do is since the, the one in front is now facing away from her, she's going to line it up so that she can punch it directly into the one behind it that um, Vignette is not engaging. So the pink one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's an 11, even without my danger, which is plus two. So I, I crushed it. Yeah, you basically, yeah. you just, you punch a hole into it and it just, the sheer force just pushes it back and it knocks, it basically knocks over the pink one. And so it's sort of like red, the red one's like on top of the pink one, just sort of like ste- like steaming, smoking, <laughs> <laughs> with sparks flying everywhere. Um, but did you... What um what questions are what portions did you want to answer you? Um well take something from them. I think the two that I hit, um they're no longer mobile, so they're not gonna be able to do yeah, much lo- to us anymore. Their legs are pretty much mangled, so I guess surprise the opposition. So the other robots didn't somehow missed me and uh, well, I, I like it's. They're all looking at me now. Yeah, all eyes are on you now. Yeah, because okay. they think I'm a bigger threat, which means they'll attack me. First, you saw them all look at uh, Vignette. You know, they see their their allies sort of getting knocked over and pushed pushed on top of each other, and so the three other remaining ones just sort of like simultaneously just all just like turn their heads and look at you, and at the same time, all their eyes just start glowing like a brighter red. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's the outsides. Let's go back to the insides. The watcher, you um, see these like viney like wi- like wires starting to come at you, and you see them fall limp. Uh, watcher, you're currently on top of your sister, just like I don't. <laughs> wrestling like, with the worst, that. worst wrestling. Because I'm like, stop it, stop it right now. Like she's not strong either. She used to just like just as like. Weak as you are. Yeah, with, with it's yeah, it's two very like not very athletic ladies, but very obviously like, like sort of like slapping each other and like maybe put a put hair pulling and stuff. <laughs> Is there anything like a piece of wood or like a pipe near me? Uh, yeah, there. I'd say there is. Um, one of the shelves. Uh, there's like a piece of the shelving unit, so it's like one of the wire the poles that are used for like shelves. Okay, I Nancy Kerrigan Eva's leg. Excuse me while I, I go look up this reference. Break a leg. Oh, I, is that the Michelle? I, um, I, I bash the I bash her knee in bash the back his, of her leg. Oh, him or yeah. her? Her. Oh, you're bashing Eva's leg in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. this is gonna be great. Uh, give me a directly engage a threat just just okay. to see how how much damage you do. I got a seven. That's that's at least you hit. I made yeah. contact with the leg. Yes, you make contact. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of a sudden you hear a the thump with the snap, and then just a scream. She's just screaming now, as her knee is not in a direction it should be. And I desperately try not to vomit on her. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god! I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. You didn't. I didn't kill her. You, you took her out of commission. We, we detained. 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 Right. detained. Where, detained. Where's that? Where's that bloke? <laughs> Look around for the man with the um the robotic arm. He actually um as soon as uh. The watcher was getting attacked by the wires, or um, rather, you know, whisper watcher, whisper, whisper was getting attacked by the wires, and then like went for the pole. You see him; he he went over and grabbed the tablet, and you just see him starting to. As you're looking up, and you look over at him, he's just tapping away, and you see more. Um, oh gosh, what what are these? Almost like. Have y'all played Horizon Zero Dawn? Oh, yes. Such a good game. Oh. Yeah, sort of. Shoulder watched. Shoulder watched. It's all, well, it's more like, I would say it's smaller versions. It's like, it's like 
oh gosh, what am I thinking? Maybe Code Lyoko, where like the the crab, the orb with the little crab legs. Mm. Yeah, do you guys know what I'm mm. talking about? Like, do y'all know? What kind I'm of. About? Yeah. yeah. Or it's basically like it's like can like picture like, it. It's like a robotic I, thing where it has like a big. I can picture that. And like has little crab legs that sort of just like. That's ugh. creepy. Yeah, and so you just see these things. You just hear a bunch of like tiny little clatters just coming from the the metallic pieces mm-hmm. of the darkness of the unknown. And all of a sudden you see a wave of these. So maybe like 50, just these small little orb guy, these little orbies. Sorry. <laughs> sort of just just wafting in is they're crawling all over the um the shelving units or along the floor underneath the catwalk like 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 the ceiling ish sort of area and you just see like all these like this clattering starting to get louder as it's coming towards you of course it's hard to hear that as you hear Aoife screaming but you know what it's still coming can I try to do what I failed to do before which is grab the tablet once more give me another directly engage (laughs) I'm gonna really shake these dice this time. <laughs> Do it. Oh, better. So that is an eight total. Okay. All right. So that means, are you gonna use it to take something away? Yep. I'm All gonna right. take the tablet. So you poof up there, poof back to him as he's like trying to do it, and he's he he's like holding on to it, but you're like, excuse me. How, how do you how? Do you just like say excuse me and just grab it, or what do you say? <laughs> I just say, uh, that's enough of that. And I grab it <laughs> and I poof outside <laughs> because I'm thinking of vignette. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Do you, so do you poof to the front where they are, or do you poof to the back? Or uh, I'm not sure where they would be at this time. So I poof to where outside where I think they will be, and I could always kind of poof again. Yeah, I think, you, do you want to poof onto the roof? Yeah. Does that make it easier? Yeah. So you poof yeah. onto the roof, and you look around, and you hear the fighting coming from the front of the building, so you're like, and the car alarm's still going off, so that's that's where they are. All right. Yeah. I probably will head there. Yeah. Uh, whis- Whisper, Yuri went, uh, uh, Watcher, have you gone yet? No, you haven't. All right. Um, so I can see these 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 creatures coming yeah. and sort of surrounding us. So what I'm going to try and do is use use a power. Oh, <laughs> I know, exciting! I'm going to try and use my psychic constructs and like sort of build like um basically like a bubble around all three of us to stop these creatures getting in and like sort of hold it there uh, instead of like and just trying to create a barrier because I'm not three, sure three being Aoife, you and the the and the whisperer the whisperer. The whisperer. Okay. All right. Do you yeah, have- I'm not having that robot guy in here. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, like, he's not allowed. <laughs> he is not welcome. <laughs> he created right, this um, problem. Do you, have any, do you have any, do you have to roll anything or is it just... Yeah, uh, so I'm guessing it's like unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape your environment. Um, yeah. It's roll plus freak. And on a hit, I do it. <laughs> but then there's uh, conditions if I, I get a seven, or seven to nine. So. Okay. It is so it's plus freak, so that's plus one. Ooh, that is a 10 total. Ooh, oh, oh Ooh. that was close. Ooh. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're able to, like, what does this bubble look like? Like, whenever you make this contract, what does it, us, the viewers, see? So I sort of, like, push out my hands, and as they do, sort of, like, these sort of um, psychic, uh, sort of uh, other hands sort of come out, and they form the bubble in sort of a purplish energy that we can sort of see through and as it sort of the, it sort of completes this bubble you can mm. probably these uh, robot things are trying to get up across it they don't get electrocuted or anything like that, but they just sort of pat it and they get shoved they, back yeah, I, it's, yeah just, it's, I, it's, a, it's a protective barrier rather than a no a i love that thing. like you just you push it out and i'm just thinking um invisible woman from like or phoenix or jean gray or whatever. yeah yeah it's very phoenix yeah yeah definitely. And you just you just see this purple dome just sort of like push out and you see this bubble which sort of encase you and i think as it's getting to its edge it's meeting the wave of these little robots mm-hmm. i don't know why i call them robots now but these little robots and you just see them just sort of like bouncing back and like they're trying to crawl on it and they, they get pushed back or like you see them like yeah. jumping down and landing on it and just sort of like bounces oh. off so yeah, yeah. If, they, if there's more than they could like come up as a wave and stuff like yeah like Probably not yeah, to they're trying to, all, like, but... try to figure out, so they're trying to work together. Yeah, yeah. So. 
These are smart, <laughs> smart little little creatures. Yeah, and, I, and then uh, I sort of turn to the, I turn to Whisper and go, get get on the WhatsApp, get them in here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so just... I, I'm t- I'm texting. <laughs> what, what are you texting? I, I'm texting Amir. Get everybody in the bubble inside now. <laughs> bubble emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's appropriate. Is it just a bubble emoji, or is it like get everyone in the bubble then bubble emoji and then bubble emoji? Okay. Because I might think, oh, we gotta go take a shower. <laughs> We're so dirty after a long day of fighting crime. <laughs> yep. Do you do you just send that to Amir? Yes. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm going to actually, we'll ship back to Amir as they uh, receive that on their phone. And then that's where Amir is sort of like appearing. Um, where the do you, do you poop down there or do you like jump down there? Uh, I always poof when I can. That's fair. Why um, do I ask? I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I call out, vignette, tablet. And <laughs> I poof to vignette. Uh, and... I hand you the tablet and I say, oh, wait, I got a text. Poof, everyone in the bubble now. Bubble. And, and as, I just... No, wait, as you see that, you see Vignette, like, like with her sword, like, in this robot. <laughs> and you see her starting to pull it out. <laughs> yep, and I just take the tablet with the other hand. So I pull the sword out with one hand, take the tablet with the other hand. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> and as you finish, I am here. You're in the bubble. Where are we? And I disappear again oh. <laughs> to go grab uh, Fury. I think Allie is like pulling a leg off one of the Rock'em Sock'em robots because she wants a bat. Yeah. So yeah, you're you you as the robots are trying to turn and starting to move towards you. Yeah, you're pulling. You're starting to uh, like you see Amir Poofin. Somehow get in between all these robots without like getting an attack. <laughs> grab grab vignette and just poof away with vignette. <laughs> and you're just grabbing this like leg as one of the robots comes to swing at you. So um, I think while it's happening, we're actually gonna do a um, we're gonna one of the robots actually is going to uh, come down and try to punch you. Grab. Okie dokie. Yeah. So give me a um, take a proper blow. Okay. Or defend. Defend you. Sorry. Okay. I got an eight. Okay. Three. Yeah. On a seven and nine, it costs you to expose yourself to danger and escalate the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can add to the team pool. You can take influence over someone you protect or clear a condition. Um, we don't have really any th- of those, and I don't think we use a team pool yet, so. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the only thing I can do because I'm not protecting someone and I don't have any conditions is add to the team pools. Yeah. So Allie, right as this robot goes to swing at her, I think she manages to rip the leg off one of the downed robots and like bring it up. Right. Block it. Yeah. And there's like a, an audible, like clanging sound. Yeah. And, and I think right now we're at the point where we see it like sort of like trying to push down or just trying to push the leg up back. So you're not like mm-hmm. losing this, this fight. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is a time where um, Amir sort of pops back in. Grabs you. Bubble dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take the leg with you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not letting go of that That's thing. Right. <laughs> you're like, I have a leg now. This yeah. <laughs> Um, and I think when Allie gets in the bubble, she looks around and she's like, she like looks at all these robots with like little circular heads and she looks at the leg and she just kind of nods and goes, I always wanted to play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all are all together back, back in this bubble. Um, you see, um, if you're paying attention, you see Professor Pixel being like, keep going, keep going. And he's just like waving they're the creatures but he's just trying to he's just trying to figure out what to do and you see him actually open up a panel on his arm and you see him like hit some buttons and he's turning his fingers into like these like weird wire things Ooh. on that metal arm you see him actually starting to run down one of the, the aisles of storage into the darkness 
just gonna wait. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try and keep the bubble going and go, uh, Vignette, can you do something with the tablet? See if you can turn turn them off. Okay, sure. So I'm gonna try to uh, figure out the tablet. Do I have to figure out his password first? <laughs> <laughs> zero 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 no zero 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 one <laughs> uh what should i roll do i need to roll to um what's your alien technology roll i guess i guess we'll just use that because you're going to be sure doing that anyways okay uh, when you alter a human device with your alien tech oh, roll wait. plus freak never mind we that's not it do you have it i don't know um unless do you like stab your sword into it <laughs> I mean, that's altering it. Slice that. <laughs> no, I think work. I want it to work because I want to turn off the yeah. little robot guys. I'm going to say just because of how well, you know, tech, you eventually able to like figure out, a, it's not even really a password. It's more like just a, a, a symbol drawing. Okay. And you're able to make like a P and it like pops it up and you're like, oh, this is it. <laughs> really? <Perfect>. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you want me to roll to see what I find on it or yeah, let's see, let's see how well you can assess this so i don't know maybe assess the situation or okay plus superior technology is okay. hard y'all it is uh watcher you're still in the bubble are you just gonna keep holding the fort down that's um... good that's good yeah i'm just gonna use all my energy as much as i can to um to to keep it up um, and hopefully help vignettes just sort of concentrate and um, yeah. fix the tablet, essentially, yeah. Whisper, you're also in the bubble. What are you doing? Nothing. Just hanging out. <laughs> Pretty much. Got your pole. Ready? <laughs> the beer didn't take you out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Right. At this point, so sleepy, specificity is important. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Amir. They need a... The sugar rush. Eleven. Eleven? All right. Is yeah. what I rolled? Because I have a plus two to superior. Okay. Let's see. Let's do what here can I use to shut down these little robot friends? So as you're as you're typing away on the tablet and just sort of like hacking in a sense, because you 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 know technology. I mean, Human technology, earthling technology is a little different from like what you have, but mm-hmm. seeing what he's doing is actually kind of like oh, really similar to what you what you know from your own planet, mm-hmm. like the tech and like sort of like it being more like high power than anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you see, you tap away, you know the language, so you're able to like see how to like recode the situation to like just stop. Okay, so it's you can start working on that. It's just going to take you a bit. Okay. And then what's, what's your next question? So it says what here is in the greatest danger. Can I say who here is in the greatest danger? Why not? Um, who here is the greatest danger? Um, and I, it, it's in the greatest danger. So I'd like to know which, I'd like to just keep an eye out to see if any of my teammates, like if someone is in danger that I haven't recognized. Yeah. If that makes would, sense. Yeah, I would say as you're um, you're you're assessing that, you actually see that you know you see that there's like about like fifty of these little like small robots that are sort of like filtering away. The uh, three that are pretty much in commission, well, one that's stabbed but still sort of kind of walking around. Uh, that are outside, they're starting to turn around and starting to come back in. Mm-hmm. But there's also a just a, like a like a cat like one. It's like not even cat, like a panther sort of like robot that's sort of like been stalking in the shadows a bit. And you you see it that it you see the direction it is and where the professor went and where you think maybe a mirror went off to. Okay. Do I see? Do I see a mirror? No, a mirror ran after or disappeared after the professor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have a sense that I think Am- Amir could be in danger in a minute here or yeah. seconds, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I first want to turn the robots off. I mean, I'm going to keep doing that. That's mm-hmm. that's going to take you a minute. So yeah. Yeah. That's what you're going to work on. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Vignette, uh, Vignette finds out about what's going on here and basically does some quick calculations and starts, you just, you just see her starting to like, 
tap away on it. I don't know I'm using both hands because it's a tablet and you don't really use both hands, but you know what? Yeah, that's okay. Vignette uses both hands. <laughs> How is she holding it? <laughs> she has, she's having the whisper hold it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, you're out, outside the bubble now and you see these robots all sort of like clanking and stuff. And they, they've gotten, they're, they actually see you and they're starting to like come towards you. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is um, the move, the basic move, unleash your powers. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do it to reshape my environment. I'm going to try and turn this wall of robots into a floor. Nice. All right. I add freak. Excellent. Because that gives me a 10. Nice. All right, let's see that. Unleash your powers um, on a hit. Yeah, so you reshape the environment. How, how how do you do this? So, you know, it's a combination thing of, like, she is um, – because how, how big are these robots? They're probably, like, maybe circumference-wise because they're crabs, so, like, three feet. Okay. Ish. And, like, can she, like, step her legs high enough to, like, squish one? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a combination of she'll like stomp on them and also use the leg as like a bat to just like send them flying. So this cuts to uh, all you can think is like you're causing massive destruction and there's classical music going on in the background with like the solo. Mm-hmm. So you just see like you just hear beautiful classical music and you just see Ali just stomping stomping and there's like a crescendo of like the mu- like a violin and you just see like the legs sweeping and like you just see one just flying in the air and just curling <laughs> it's is it the calmest music ever like oh, it's, in in it's, it's like calm contrast yes <laughs> and you were just watching that from the bubble like or, or rather i think whisper is i think the watcher is too like um but yeah, that, that bubble though is getting really hard to hold up. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's yep. you're fine. starting to feel weak. Whenever you start feeling weak, uh watch your wow, how does that reflect on your body? Like Ooh, good point. So I'm looking at so the doom thing. It yeah. says, you know, obviously one way or another your future is grim, what brings your doom closer? And one of them that we picked was overexerting myself. Mm-hmm. So whenever I bring the Doom closer, I mark one of the boxes on the on the Doom track. So it looks like, and I, I guess, the, yeah, you're overturning yourself at this point. So yeah, so I'll mark, I'll mark it. Oh, oh no! Ooh. 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 <laughs> um, it will look like. So you imagine like almost like the life force is slowly draining from uh, the hands. At least it's very obvious on the hands. So they sort of go a little bit mottled and great, a bit like in. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and you just see like the the man who drinks from the wrong cup, mm-hmm. and he ages quite. But it's it's like that, um, and like maybe the skin gets a little bit tighter, and it, like the eyes get a bit hollower, that sort of thing. It's 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 more of an aesthetic thing, but it it looks horrifying. Yeah, you, mm. it looks like you're you're anti Benjamin buttoning uh, buttoning at like a rapid at great speed. <laughs> yeah, great speed. Yeah, all right. Ooh. Yeah. So, so yeah, you, we just see you starting to hold, like keep holding on to that, and we see these changes happening, and then we're gonna cut to um, Amir. Masks is Maggie as the Fury, Fiona as the Watcher, Miriam as Mixed Direction, Diana as the Whisperer. Kristen as Vignette and Morgan as the Game Master. PBTP is a proud member of the Roll to Play Network. It is hosted by Diana Lorraine, Morgan Nuncio, and Kristen Devine. Discover more at RollToPlayNetwork.com. See you next time!